<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. Remember last week or a couple of vlogs ago, I was contemplating on changing out the tint on the GTR here. I just kind of want to go a little bit lighter, kind of want to show off that interior. So I think today's the day uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm going to remove the tint and uh, going to go retint it. Maybe I'll do a time lapse. I don't know yet. We'll see uh, how it goes. But uh, stick around, you guys, and see uh, the end results. I'm thinking of putting like a uh, ceramic tint. Uh, I do have one right on right now, which is the Lumar Pinnacle. Fantastic film, fantastic film. But I'm going to go with a, uh, their top of the line film, which is called the Stratos. Multi-layer ceramic film, but um, I will go over a little more in depth or in detail once we get this uh, vlog started. All right, guys. So this is going to be the last time you're going to see dark tint on the GTR. What do you guys think? Do you think dark dark like this or do you think it's going to look better with a lighter shade leave a comment below you guys yeah, so first off we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the old stuff but uh the gtr is pretty tight you guys and the seat doesn't go for it very much so let's get started i guess All right guys, so I removed the uh, hardest window, which is re usually the rear window because of the defrost lines and stuff. And the two little quarters are done. All I have to do is remove the two side windows, but man, I don't know, I'm really digging the uh, no tint look right now. Just uh, absolutely beautiful, you guys. Let me uh, show you guys. Look at that, you guys. I don't know if it catches on camera or not, but you can see all the colors from the bride seats. And it's just, mmm, I'm digging it. So I'm kind of tossing and turning about uh, what shade to put on now. But definitely for uh, Stratos. And uh, that's the film I'm going to go with, but I don't know what shade yet. So uh, we'll see. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. The color just pops. Yep, looking forward to uh, having a lighter shade of tint so we're just waiting for the steamer to uh heat up here and we're gonna go ahead and take that and we're gonna steam the tint off uh steam is probably the easiest way to remove a uh, tint easiest way to well i guess recommended ways because uh you don't want to uh, scratch up all the uh glass say eh? so go ahead and i'm gonna steam this off and then uh, we'll see you guys in a bit Alright guys, so finally uh, we got the rear window heated down. Uh, Straddles is like, it's a pretty thick film. Uh, of course, it's like it's a multi-layer ceramic film. Super, super heat rejecting or heat absorption, but it gets rid of the heat really, really good. So, uh, huge difference. Um, I did want to go with a lighter shade, so if you kind of noticed, there's really not much there, but it'll outperform any like dark limo tint or 5% window uh, film um, without losing the uh, the lighting. Yeah, I just kind of, yeah, I kind of want to show off that interior and uh, this film will uh, pretty much uh, help me achieve that. But here I'll discuss a little more and I'll give you a, an example of what this multi-layer film kind of looks like. So you guys, so the film in particular is the Straddle 70. Um, it's it's pretty thick. Let's uh, let's peel it back here a couple of layers, and I'm gonna show you. 
right there. If you can see, there's a first layer here. There you see, it's kind of a bluish color. Kind of reminds me of like an Air 80. But that's one layer. And there's kind of a golden shade color to it. And there's a second layer. And then of course the adhesive itself. But yeah, that's what makes the difference between a single layer, multi-layer, and just keep in mind, not all ceramic film performs the same. And the one that we use and install and recommend is Lumar. The only brand that we recommend, or even I recommend. So look for a Lumar dealer guys out there. So just to clarify you guys, every brand of film out there will have UV protection. It will absorb 99.9% .9 of the UV because that's just the urethane. Uh, it should be a layer of like, I can't remember what it was, but it will absorb the UV so that the urethane uh, doesn't break down. Uh, without that layer of a protection, uh, the UV would just disintegrate. It will just turn into like a powder, a dusty powder, and that's what uh, cheap film will do. So don't be fooled. Uh, the heat that you feel on your skin is IR, infrared, and the better the infrared absorption, the better performance the film is. And with this film, in the Stratos uh, 70, it's roughly about 66%, which is very, very high for uh, virtually a clear film. Um, if you look on the side quarter, that's already done. There's literally like almost nothing there. It's just a beautiful blue hue to it. and absolutely gorgeous film and for installers it's just a easy film to install it's a little thicker so it doesn't basically crumble when you uh, throw the film in it just slides right in so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clean the back window now and then go ahead and uh, throw that in and uh, we'll be right back yes pretty tight in the back of a, a GTR here and the uh, the bucket seats uh, don't really help either uh, you have four hours you say all right guys so uh, we're gonna start installing the side windows I kind of cheated this time. Normally I take the whole panel off, but uh, I was able to take the weather stripping out and the um, uh, pillar here. And now we have access uh, to the window. So much easier and it was just pretty simple. So yeah, let's get started right now and uh, let's throw it in.
That's it. So much easier with the uh, weather stripping out and the access to the uh, windows. So much easier. That's it. So I'm just going to start putting all the panels back together. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, just a so weather strip and come out, put the pillar back in. What a huge difference in uh, installation wise when this stuff comes out. Very simple. This transfer paper is better. First? Johnny! You gotta shut it off for a bit. What's up? You gotta shut it off for a bit. Why? Filming, bro. This is why I'm not doing it. Come meet you. Is it? Okay, okay, play it then. We don't do no free advertising. No. Nice. Very nice. Kind of a nice little added touch here. Do any of you guys know what this means? This little teardrop looking shape from the uh, Mori factory. Comment below. Let me know if you guys know what it is. So the tint is done now and uh, it turned out very nicely and the Stratos uh, 70 has a little bit of a blue hue to it. It's hard to describe. Uh, it just, for some reason, when you're looking at it, it has a nice glow to it. And it's very easy on the eyes from the inside out. And uh, here, I'll just pop the door open. And it just, I know it's hard to catch on the camera here, but it just, there's something about it. It just, it's very easy on the eyes. And I've uh, achieved what I wanted. I wanted to express and show the inside of the interior. And uh, with this tint, it allows it. All right, so with that said, you guys, it's the install is pretty much done and this vlog is done. Um, so far, if you guys are liking the vlogs and uh, liking the content, uh, support the channel, smash that subscribe button, you guys turn on the notification and share with all your friends because uh, I'm trying to grow the channel and so far it's doing okay, I guess, right? Um, but there is a solution for all you guys that are having beautiful interiors and beautiful cars that kind of want to show off that interior shot at the, the car shows, uh, show off to the judges and there's really no guessing. Uh, if you have like roll cages, bride seats or custom bucket seats like these ones, uh, show it off, have a beautiful tint and now that there is a solution where it'll cut down all the heat, especially in California or up in Alberta here and during the summertime, you, know, you don't have to boil in your car and you get to show off the interior at the same time. There's a solution. So I'll put the link to Lumar and uh, the series that I have is called Straddles. Best film in the market by far, you guys. So hit up one of the Lumar dealers if you guys want to do it. Well worth it, you guys. And uh, that's pretty much for this uh, week's vlog. See you guys next week. See ya. Can anybody guess what's inside this box? Check out next week. You don't want to miss it.